Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing an uh, unboxing of the Cobb SF intake on this fine Australian Sunday morning. As you can see, box. Um, we're doing... Well, didn't know this came with it. And the reason I just got the airbox was due to the fact I don't need... I already got an intake on it. I just needed a box because Australian laws are shit. I uh, got the intake pipe. Packed by Harrison, which is... Who's Natalie packing? You're the man, Harrison. Seriously. I've got one, two, three, four... Yeah, four stickers. All the hardware to mount it. I have opened this prior. Uh, close that up so I don't lose it. The last thing I want to do is do the install and have no parts. I've got the intake lid. I won't be opening that until the install. Hoses for the overflow, I'm pretty sure. Bracketry, that's for the lid. I'm pretty sure that goes where the earth strap is. You mount that on the side like that. Um, put the screw in there and the earth strap goes in between that and the body. Uh, what else? Oh, main part, airbox. As I said, won't be opening it completely at the moment until install. But the packing is actually half decent. We've got Weather stripping, fair bit of it, which works out good. We got another coolant hose with a little cob logo. Huh. Added bonus, don't think this is going to fit the Australian plates, but good garage ornament, I'll admit that. But look, good. might do a giveaway of that. And that is everything in the box. Uh, the install video should be up in the next oh, week or so. Um, sorry for the late uploads and uploads that are all over the place. Uh, been busy with work. Don't have the server at the moment. I've got this piece of shit that I've been driving around in because it's getting the gearbox done because the speedo decided to quit. <coughs> But other than that, yeah, the cob intake, definitely worth the money, especially if you're just after an airbox. If you're just after an airbox, it works out perfect. Um, yeah, another cheap mod you can do to your Subaru, if you've got an STI Inical or anything bigger and you can't, and you haven't got the proper, you know, the shroud or Inical in shroud, talking to my tuner, he said the best mod he can do and cheapest is just take it out. Just take it out completely. Yeah, it's not ideal, but he said the more airflow, the better. Um, which I totally agree with him. The more airflow you got, the better it is. Um, yeah. There we have the steering rack, which is down there. It will be fitted soon. Just haven't had the car very long to fit it. And there's that poor CV joint, or part of it, as it completely cracked itself on the poor Subaru. I replaced that probably just after I got it. Not a hard job, quite easy. Um, but other than that guys, that's today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, remember to like, subscribe. And I'll keep you updated with the next videos. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys. I'm uh, just going to explain the Australian laws. There was a bit of confusion a while ago about it. In Australia, they reckon if you don't, if you have an open pod filter, they can literally defect your car, class it as unroadworthy. You have to convert it back to stock. I've actually asked a police officer about it. They have turned around and told me that it's due to backfiring through the manifold and setting the filter on fire. If it's exposed, it will continue to burn and burn your car down to the ground. Don't know how the hell that happens. Only time I've ever seen a backfire through the intake is due to the fact carburetted, for one. I've seen carburetors do it. Never, I've seen an AFI do it, but, <coughs> excuse me, I've seen an AFI do it. But that's when you literally can't drive it, it's running that raft. 
um, they reckon if it's in a sealed box or boxed it will extinguish itself and magically be, everything's fine so this is why I've bought this, got this intake um, it's the Australian laws are shocking when it comes to this like you can get in trouble for having a blow off valve like it's venting the atmosphere they think it's going to cause oh, what was pretty sure I read up that they reckon it causes excessive pollution out of the blow off valve um, they can hit you with like a $200 fine and take points off your license here in Australia we've got 13 points per license or full licensed um, yeah yet yeah, they will pick and pick and pick even if you've got like LED uh, LED number plate lights even if it's slightly coloured they'll defect you for that they'll take your car off the road for that um, New South Wales police are outright shocking when it comes to anything anything car modified that's why I try and like that's why I've got the GFB response blow off valve which you can adjust from recirculate to circulate um, or yeah not circulate uh, recirculate to atmosphere I've got a set of atmosphere if I get caught I get caught shit happens I'll push my luck um, but yeah that's just explaining the laws here in Australia the same with coilovers they don't like coil overs that's why I had to spend big money on the ones I've got in mind because they're ADR approved Australian design regulations some shit because they don't like height adjustable suspension even though some cars do come factory with it they will still try and defect it I knew a guy that had a brand new Kawasaki I think it was a ZX6R they tried defecting him for the standard exhaust completely stock from factory the thing had 800 Ks on it and they tried defecting him for the standard exhaust because they thought it was too loud I had a CBR and with them you got one headlights low beam other headlights high beam they actually tried getting me saying I had a headlight out even though they didn't know I actually got them on the phone to Honda and yeah he changed his mind pretty, pretty quick so yeah that's explaining the rules and regulations of Australia they're crap with their cars it needs to be Re revised really bad uh, looks like my son's awake so hope you guys like the video remember to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video in the next couple of days hopefully i'll have this one up very soon and peace out guys